We'll start standing in Tadasana. Spread your feet. Lift your toes. Lower the toes. Give yourself a little bit of organic movement here to feel steady in your feet. Feeling the toes, the outer edges of the feet, heels, balls of the big toe, settling down. Feel this connection to the mat. Find Tadasana, open your palms forward, shoulders relaxed, tailbone reaching for the heels, and crown of your head reaching up, ribs pulling in. Take five breaths. Be here, be present, bring your hands to the center. Inhale, lift your arms up overhead, and exhale, fold forward. Take three breaths here, relaxing the spine, the neck, energizing the legs, gently shifting weight into the toes. Inhale, flatten your back, either fingers on the mat or chins. Pull your chin in to elongate the back of the neck, bring the ribs in, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Two times, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, plant your hands, set your feet back to plank pose. Look at your hands, spread your fingers, thumb and pinky spread far apart. Thumbs pressing down. Thighs moving up, belly in. Drop your heels over to the right and lift your left arm. Try not to take the shoulder out of its socket, but pull your ribs in and extend up. Push into the edges of your feet. Take your sides, hand down, heels over to the left, and right arm begins to float up. Notice if you're pulling the shoulder back, Try and pull your ribs in, feel hollowness in your armpits. Exhale, plank pose. Lower to your belly. Take a full exhale as you lower down. Hands on your shoulders, tops of the feet down. Come into cobra. Look over your left shoulder, look at the legs extended back, look over your right shoulder. Look forward, inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Two more. Let your tongue out. Slowly lower down, forehead down. Tuck your toes, lift your knees. Push into your hands, find plank pose, and then downward dog. Bend your knee, right knee in, kind of towards the left. Drawing your left heel back. And switch, left knee comes in and a little bit over to the right, a little bit of a twist, getting into the backs of the leg, the outer hips. Down the dog. Breathe in and out. Look forward, lift your heels. As you exhale, bend your knees and step or hop your way forward. Flattening your back, inhale. Exhale, fold towards your legs. Inhale, push into your feet, squeeze your butt a little bit. Inhale, all the way up, exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, lift your arms, take your left wrist and lean over to the right. Push into your feet, pull your ribs in, and draw your left shoulder back right forward. Come to center, switch your sides. Come to center, palms up, look up, exhale, fold. 
Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plank pose. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lower to your belly. Untuck your toes, take your hands behind the back. Open your chest. Keep the feet pressing down as you lift the chest and breathe into your belly. Ujjayi breath, neck long. Feel complete exhales and full inhales. Exhale, release. Forehead down, tuck your toes under, lift your knees, thighs, plank pose, and down dog. Lift your right leg and open the hip, stack your right hip on top of the left, pressing into your hands, spread your toes, lift your knee a little more, then square your hips, straighten your right leg, turn your hips towards the mat, exhale, pass through plank pose, touch your right knee to the left elbow, inhale, draw the heel up, hips still square. Exhale, give yourself a little twist, bringing knee over to the arm. Inhale, lift up. Exhale. Inhale, lift the right leg. And as you exhale, step it forward, lower your back knee, come to a low lunge. Hands can be on your hips or in cactus or over your head. Take breath of fire here. Forcefully exhaling, big breath in and begin. Inhale, deeply look up. Exhale, drop your left hand down, lift the left knee, twist. Stay here, or come to side plank. Step your right foot back. Stacking hip shoulders, spreading the fingers of the right hand. Inhale, exhale, plank pose. Inhale here. Exhale this time, chaturanga. Elbows close to the body. Shift yourself forward into upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Breathe in and out. Left leg lifts and stacks. Try to press into your hands. Find roundness in the armpits with the knee a little bit more. Straighten the leg. Square your hips towards the mat. Exhale, tap right elbow. Inhale, draw the heel up. Exhale, completely. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, step your foot forward. Right knee comes down. Knee over the ankle. Space between your torso and the front thigh. Stretching the right psoas. Hands where you had them on the last time. Inhale for a breath of fire. Inhale, look up. Exhale, right hand comes down, right knee lifts, twist. Stay here or step your left foot back, side plank. Lift hips, stack the shoulders, spread your left fingers. And we'll meet a downward facing dog. Lower your hand, go directly there, or bend your elbows for chaturanga or lower to your belly. Cobra or up dog, firm thighs, down and facing dog. Feeling free to exhale up the mouth whenever you like, neck long. Releasing tension. Lift your heels as you breathe in. 
As you exhale, bend your knees, step up, or float your way forward. As you breathe in, float yourself into a flat back, and exhale, fold. Lift your feet and slide your hands underneath the feet. Toes all the way to the wrists. Then flatten your back again. Push your sit bones back. Reach your crown forward. As you exhale, bend your elbows and fold. Lean into your toes. Place pressure on the wrists. Feel the back body expand. Release your hands. Bend your knees so that your belly is touching the thighs. Shins, excuse me, thighs parallel to the mat. And bring your arms forward. Try and lift your hips a little bit and extend out from your shoulders without crunching up by your ears. Palms facing in like you're squeezing a block. Feel a big breath in your belly. Inhale, come all the way up, squeeze the glutes, lift your arms, gaze. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale. Exhale. Bend your knees and come into chair pose. Keep your feet and knees and thighs parallel. Imagine that you're squeezing something in between the knees and in between the hands without closing the knees or the hands. Tuck your tailbone, lift your chest, sit down a little more. And exhale, hold. Flat back, breathe in. Exhale, we now sit down dog or skip it. You can add in jumping, or you can skip anything that makes you lose your breath. Right leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, step it forward. Lift your arms up. Relax the shoulders. Straighten your front leg. Keep your back heel lifted. Lean forward. Extending back to the sit bones. Extending long through the spine and arms. Inhale, lift your chest. Bend back into the knee and twist. Elbow outside the thigh. Stacking your hands or opening or binding, whatever is in your practice, whatever allows you to free breathe. Bending the knee over the ankle, extending the left heel back, maybe move your knees. Bring your hands down. Lift the right foot, tap the back of the right arm, send your foot back, and make your way to the dog. Inhale and exhale. Lift the left leg, step your foot forward, come to a high lunge. Reach your arms up, relax your shoulders, straight in your front leg, like you're pulling in the inner thighs, back heel lifted, lean forward. Lift your chest as you breathe in, bend into the knee, and twist. Elbow outside the thigh, hands stacked, then elbow stacked and push down. Maybe separate your arms, Maybe bind one or both hands, but not cutting off your air supply. You can look down for stability or up towards the ceiling. Release your hands, tap the back of the left arm as you make your way to down dog. Tapping here, pausing, send it back, flow. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, look forward, step, hop, float. 
As you breathe in, float into a flat back. Exhale, bow. Bend your knees. Come into chair pose. And come all the way up. Take a pause, left hand over the heart, right hand over the left hand. Check out your heart beats. Bring your feet together like you're zipping up the inner legs, big toes, ankles, knees touching. Come back into chair pose. This time, twist. Left elbow outside the right thigh, hands stacked, we're moving apart. Draw your left hip back so the knees are in line. Come to center. And over to the other side. As you cross, still be drawing the right hip back so the knees stay in line so that the twist is coming from the spine and not from moving the hips. From the center, release your hands, fold forward. Inhale, flatten your back. And exhale, tuck your feet apart, come into Malasana. Tailbone sinking down as we lift our chest, as we open our hips. Make your way to downward facing dog with an optional pro pose, vinyasa. Place your hands down, bring your knees onto the arms. Gently lift your feet one at a time or both. Hug in. As you exhale, send your gaze forward and send your feet back. Hug down with that. Cobra, or upper dog, and down. Step your right foot forward and drop your back heel down with straight legs. Come up. Turn your hips and your chest to the long side of your mat. Turn up the thighs, activate the legs, send your arms out. Come into triangle pose. Start to reach forward. As you reach forward, elongate through the right side of your body. Left hand on the hip. Bring your hand down to anywhere comfortable. Shin, mat, block. Without compromising the hips. So to bring your hand to the mat, if that means leaning forward and sending your hips back, maybe take a different modification. Hand on the shin, the block. Turn your right ribs towards the left. Hand can always stay on the hip, or you can bring it over your head. Come up right. And turn to the other side. Turn your right foot so that the pinky toes parallel to the mat. Turn your left toes forward. Turn up the legs, hips, and chest square. Start to elongate through the left side of the body. Leaning, leaning, leaning. Place your hand somewhere comfortable where that you can also make a triangle here with your arm and the side body and the left leg. Maybe a leg, maybe a block, maybe a mat. Right hand on the hip, left ribs turning towards the right. Maybe lift your arm. Not sending your shoulder back, but feel the shoulders in one line and space in the armpits. And come up right. Hands come to your hips. Turn your left foot towards the long side of your mat, right foot towards the front, and step yourself forward. Feet parallel, come to chair pose. Heels resting, knees moving back so you can see your toes. And then we're gonna lower all the way down. So try and keep your chest lifted as we lower all the way to the mat. Come into boat pose. Hold behind the knees and lift your chest. Come 
Lower your feet down and your hands, fingers facing forward, and lift into reverse tabletop. Look forward or back and do fire breath one last time. Inhale. Lower down. Come back into Navasana. This time you have this choice. You can have your hands behind the knees, or you can release, or you can straighten your legs. Slowly lower your upper body and your legs at the same pace. Bring your low back right in line with the belly button to the mat. Take a breath in. Exhale, release. Knees in for a moment. Head on the mat. Bring your feet down. Come into bridge pose. Feet parallel, knees parallel. Stretch out your belly. Either hold your mat or walk your hands together underneath you. Squeezing triceps towards each other, rolling the shoulders towards each other, opening up through the chest, through the belly. Slowly release your hands and lower down. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Take behind the knees. Rock and roll back and forth. We'll meet in down dog. So either go directly there, or you can step, hop, float yourself through a vinyasa. Step your right foot forward. Come to a high lunge. Come to a twisted high lunge. Left elbow outside the right thigh. Look down, bring your left foot forward. Feet together. Twisted chair. Arms apart for a moment. Bring both hands down to the mat. So come off your heels and place your hands perpendicular to your toes. Toes forward, hands to the right. And come into a side crow, or any variation of this posture that you do. If you extend your legs, do so. If you separate the feet, do so. My head is under <laughs> this wibbly, powered up. So release. Lift up, open yourself up. Exhale, bow. Make your way to down dog. However, you see fit, stepping, hopping, floating. This time, left foot steps forward and bring your arms up for a moment and twist. Hands to heart or separate them. Look down, step your feet together for a twisted chair. Use your gaze for balance. Draw your right hip back, knees even. Bring your hands down and come off your heels. So the fingers are facing to the side and toes remain facing forward, twisting the spine, lifting your hips, leaning. This side a little easier. Maybe extending your legs or separating your feet. Releasing. Come all the way up and all the way down. Bring your feet together. Bow towards your toes. Bhavanasana.
Lift up, extend your right leg. Left foot is on the mat, knee bent. Left hand back, right arm extends, twist. Taking anything that feels good, opening your palm, hand to your heart, binding. Keep the right foot flexed, right leg active. Let your gaze be the last thing to focus on. Come to center, float yourself to center. Extend left leg, pause. Right foot comes in. Left leg active, right hand back. Left arm extends up, space of the torso, exhale, twist. Any of the arm variations. Pressing tricep into the knee, opening your chest, hand to heart, binding, looking back. Any modification here. And slowly come to center. Extend both legs. Place your hands down, fingers facing forward. Come into reverse plank. Start to push into your hands and lift your hips, squeezing your glutes and trying to reach your toes towards the mat. Slowly release. Release your calves, hips back to the mat. Release your hands and lower down nice and slow. Unrolling yourself. Hand on your heart, hand on your belly. Walk your feet in. Or seek the bottom of the asana. With your hand on your heart and your hand on your belly, feel this fire that we've created. Feel the beating of your heart. Feel full breaths into the torso, belly lifts, expands. But for the next few minutes, focus on the exhale. Start to cool this fire. Exhaling at least as long as you're inhaling, but maybe even a little bit longer. Resting, countering the work that we've done. It's just as important as building strength, building fire. Let yourself soften here. Let the jaw relax, maybe slightly open your mouth. Third eye softens and stay here for the next three to five minutes. 